Hi, I'm Kathleen Peters and I represent District 69 in Pinellas County within the Florida House of Representatives. I've had a lot of people ask me what it's like to be a woman in public office and and often they want to know why did I why did I run for office and so what I tell them and, and this is very true is I got very upset about something that was going on in our communities and and there was a very high arrest rate among our juveniles and I felt that it was unjust and that too many children were getting arrested and penalized and criminalized for things that they never should have been criminalized for and when I went to the people in power and authority to change that they were very apathetic and nobody wanted to take a stand and nobody wanted to fix it. And so I got very upset and very angry. And so I took it upon myself to do some research and to raise some money and create a collaborative team. And we came up with a solution and we also funded that solution and we were very, very successful. And therefore we were able to um, reduce the referral rates within the schools 54% and, and we we're able to reduce the arrest rates by 23%. And so with that great success, many people came to me and said, wow, if you could have that kind of success just because you were an angry mom and ensure that children didn't lose hope or lose their future, what, you know, what could you do if you held a public office and you had the opportunity to truly make change? And so it was with those challenges that I decided to run for first local office and I was a city commissioner and then I was the mayor of a small city and now of course I represent um, Pinellas County in the Florida House of Representatives. And then people started saying, well, what are the challenges as a, as a female and, and being a, uh, an elected official? It is perceived that it's the woman's duty to raise the family and take care of the family and, and so I've had to juggle that and it is very difficult and it's a difficult decision when you weigh out your public service um, taking away from your valuable family time, whether it's your children or whether it's your seniors. Um, the other barriers and perceptions are, you know, it's a man's world and how do you get into that man's world. Men socialize different than women do and, and they they communicate different than women do and I think that until you learn and understand how they network and and how they work together socially and and publicly that you can figure out where your differences are and how you can come together and it can be an easy thing to get across those barriers now my recommendation to any woman that might consider going into office would be a couple things first I would say don't be afraid to go for it. We wait and we wait and we don't do it. And, and I have found that to be not just in public office, but for higher leadership roles, women will wait and they'll say, I want more experience. I want to make sure that I'm right. So, so don't doubt yourself. The other thing I would recommend you do is get a team of advisors. Uh, uh, because every single subject that has come up, I have always called one of my advisors and they have always advised me well. So, my my luck and wish to you or my wish to you is that you are very confident in yourself and don't miss opportunities be strong and be successful